Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about a reliable, a sure short way of getting success at building a coding career. Okay, so I know a lot of you are just entering your colleges or maybe you're in your second year or maybe even in your third year. And uh, in this video, we'll be talk talking in very much detail about how you can go about building your dream software career, how to start, what are the steps you have to take. Okay, but before that, let me know in the comments which college you're enrolled in, which branch you're in, so that I get to know you more and I can make better videos for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We post a lot of content related to college, coding, entrepreneurship, and a lot of other things that you'll be interested in. So the first step to learning coding is to learn some programming language any programming language it doesn't matter which programming language you choose don't say html but you can uh, go for anything like c++ python java these are the big three languages which people mostly go for i personally started with c++ because that was that was what was instructed in my college and if you have already been instructed in language and it's very likely that you already have been i would say start with that because you already have some instruction in that language and it would be better for you to start with that instead of reinventing the wheel okay if you don't have a programming language instruction or you've forgotten it or you want to start off for whatever reason i would say go for c plus plus or python c plus plus would be a bit better according to me but python is also good because it's used almost everywhere you can use python for web development you can use python for machine learning and a bunch of other stuff as well cyber security everything you will have a python library or a python functionality for every field you can think of right so you can start with any of those c plus plus is a more you know it's it's a more crunchy language. Let's say Python is a bit easy. If you study C++, you'll find it easy to code in a lot of other languages. If you start in Python, you might have to work around a bit if you want to work with other languages. So that's why I say C++, maybe I'm biased, but any of these will work. Second step is that you learn data structures and algorithms. Okay? So what are data structures and algorithms? So programming language is something that you use to give instructions to a computer, right? Now what that instruction is, is called an algorithm, right? So an algorithm is basically an instruction. It's like telling your computer to add one to one. That's an algorithm, okay? Uh, so let's say you want to give your computer, an, uh, you want to teach your computer how to make a calculator. So you will have to teach them, if someone enters a digit and then he puts a symbol, which is a plus symbol, and then he adds another digit, then you're supposed to output the sum of the two digit as the answer, right? So you are teaching the computer an algorithm of how to calculate addition, right? Simple as that, okay? <clears throat> so now in computer science, obviously you'll have a lot more complicated algorithms. So you'll have to study a bit about that. Data, data structure is the way you feed data to your computer. You cannot just, you know, so for example, some of you must have seen that people take fingerprints, right? So how do you think a fingerprint is processed? So the fingerprints data must be processed in some way and then it is stored somehow in a computer. So that somehow part is the data structure. Okay. And how that data is processed is the algorithm part. So it's, it's a, it's a very crude definition, which I've given. It's a very complex field. It's a very big field. I have done three courses in data structures and algorithm alone, six month courses in IITB. So this is the second thing which you should do. Okay. I'll give you resources as well for all of these. Third is that you should go for something practical. Okay. Which could be web development it could be mobile development maybe do a bit of os maybe do a bit of database you know all of these things this is what is actually useful in the real world okay because so this is so this is because this is just to get started this is to clear interviews and to develop a good cs theoretical knowledge okay in interviews they will ask you dsa questions a lot of them will be just dsa questions and this is what is asked in competitive programming as well right this is the development part people say okay dev karo dev karo this is the development part okay where you develop some website you develop an app okay you develop uh, some kind of a scraper or some application for your own computer okay something like that okay so this is the practical part where you'll be developing something you saw for example in itb we had a course where we had a lot of development a lot of practical stuff so we built a website for ourselves we built fully functional websites as well where you can you know upload something and then it will be encrypted and stored in the server somewhere and then you can download it something something we built a cloud storage solution so are you seeing it's a very practical thing right we built an app we built two or three apps actually so it was an app where you know you, if you click a button then it will uh, so it was like a weather app where if you click a button it will fetch from some 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 website or some database the weather at your location and then it will feed it to you 
right so that was a very practical thing right so this is the practical aspect and for this that you specialize in something this could be machine learning this could be cyber security okay this could be blockchain it could be anything okay this is some highly sophisticated stuff this is usually done in third or fourth year so now you can stop anywhere it's it's your wish okay so if you just learn some basic programming language uh, and then maybe you can learn some html some front end stuff and then you can become a front end engineer you'll be paid a bit less but you'll be paid then you can do both of these things then now once you are done with this and this uh, maybe throw in a bit of computer programming as well you will become a decently spec engineer okay you can apply to companies and you can you know crack interviews because you know dsa and then they will teach you stuff like this in their company and maybe you can get a pretty decent job by doing only these two if you do these three then you are pretty much guaranteed to do really well in life because if you have done some practical work then you'll have a few websites you'll have a few projects to show in your portfolio and then you can land some really awesome jobs at some fang companies or wherever you want to work and if you do all four then you can become a machine learning engineer you can become a cloud engineer you can become a blockchain engineer you can become a cyber security engineer and these are some very specialized jobs and you can be paid in crores for this okay there are companies which hire remotely there are companies or, or you can even work outside india you can work on these things and you can get a really high paying job right so now where to learn these just google these things you just google i want to learn python you'll get some tutorial just google i want to learn data structures and algorithm there's a there are a ton of websites which will teach you all of these things you can just google or you can just go on youtube and say ki you know i want to learn web development in django i want to learn android development i want to learn android studio uh, you know i have a basic course on database or operating systems uh, or virtualization or any any field you want you know there are a lot of ml courses there are a lot of cyber security courses there are a lot of blockchain courses you can you just have to go on coursera or or youtube and or google search it and you can learn it all for free okay it's as simple you don't have to work too hard ki bhai kaise seekhu just google it pehle ek do results dekhna whichever you like you can start studying from it doesn't make a difference it's more about your willingness than the source okay but if you want a better solution for it we can learn everything in one place get certifications for it then i would highly recommend you acad boost university theek hai so this is a platform which you have built for learning skills there you can learn all of these things you can learn all of these things which are listed mobile development development uh, some of databases thrown in as well machine learning is there as well cyber security is there as well so you can learn all of these things with proper certifications at a very affordable rate so academic university has all of these things in one package you don't have to buy courses separately just enroll once and you can study all of these things you can obtain certifications for all of these things and it also has a very good discount going on till i think 18th of november if i'm not wrong yeah it's 18th of november you can go into the description and and all it costs just a few thousand rupees and i think you can buy the two year package there's a two year package which will last for two years so till two years you can access these any times any time and study i would suggest you go for the two year package so that you have enough time to learn all of these things so i would suggest that you should buy it because you will not have to waste time looking for resources ki bhai ye mein because if you go and search the best place to study dsa you will just get confused you will see lots of resources which is why i didn't name any because if i name something then you will say ki yaar mujhe access red kisne bola tha ki ye wala zyada acha hai so there's no end in it you'll keep on searching you'll keep on wasting time it is much better to just spend a few thousand rupees and learn all of these things from a trusted source and you will also get certifications youtube se seekhne ke certification nahi milti hai here the certification can be used by you in your resume a lot of people have fetched very good jobs internships freelance gigs using our certifications using our courses so you can check these out as well in the description so i hope ek acha road map aapko mil gaya coding ka hai na so badhiya what's your dream company let me know in the comments wahan pe aapko milenge after 3 4 years uh, thank you for watching um, like subscribe link of courses are given in description thank you good